Our next guest is probably one of the busiest people in the Colorado theater community. Robert Michael Sanders is a true theater professional. Recently, he has directed productions such as Tell Me on a Sunday, Guys on Ice, and Susical Jr. In addition to all of that and more, he has directed the last three miscast events for the Denver Actors Fund, helping raise over $7,000 in 2016 alone. We are glad to have Robert Michael Sanders. Thank you. Hello, Welcome. sir. How are you today? I'm great. How are you guys? Good. Thanks for so, getting up early for us. Oh, this is early. <laughs> I know. We were just talking. This is early for an actor on a Monday. Yes, it is. Uh, we just opened a show this weekend, so it's been a long weekend. And mornings start about 10 for me. <laughs> 10 for you. Yes. Nice. What show did you open? Uh, right now I'm in Family Theater's production of Pygmalion, uh, running Ooh. over the Aurora Fox. So I'm okay. playing actor right now. Awesome. And what's that like? What's it like working with the Family Theater Company, too? Uh, this is my second show with Family. It is a unique experience, for sure. It is, it is, you know, obviously it's a bunch of actors with disabilities, so you just have to readjust your world and how that functions with each other. So it is a great learning experience, but a great batch of professionals. Mm. Uh, the shows are the shows. Everybody works really hard. It's, it's Bernard Shaw. It's, it's Pygmalion. It's not an easy piece. No, so, for sure. Uh, we've been rehearsing for five weeks, and now we're up and running. Awesome. And so you're doing a million other things as well. So talk about some of the other things. A uh, million, yes. Uh, so that opened. Uh, as soon as this one is up and running, I start rehearsal for a show called Baby Dance over at Cherry Creek Theater, um, where I get to play opposite of my wife, which is really fun. My real life wife is playing the opposite uh, posh LA wife, and I'm playing a redneck trailer trash. <laughs> Something I do a lot. Um, uh, then, as soon as that is up and running, I will be uh, directing the producers for Breckenridge Theater this summer uh, at the Backstage Theater. Fun. I want to talk more about so working with your wife. Have you done this before? I have. And how, how did that go? I'm assuming it went well, that you're taking it on yeah, again. Sure. Um, <laughs> she and I met in a show. We actually met doing Gypsy. Uh, oh, years and years and years ago, she played Rose and I played Herbie. Okay. So our little showmance has turned into, uh, we got married last year, so eight years later. Congratulations. Uh, so working with her on stage is so much fun. Uh, she is... Like, you better bring your A game every day. So her name is Megan Van de Hey. She is a stellar actor here in town. Uh, I've gotten to direct her a couple of times. That gets a little more trepidatious. <laughs> uh, when she gets a little angry or, or, you know, concerned, I have to stop and ask, am I dealing with Megan, my wife, or Megan, the actor right now? Which oh. one is angry at me? So it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. I would, I would use... Uh, I would choose to work with her anytime. She's fantastic. Good answer. Yeah. Good answer. Thank you. <laughs> nice save. Nice save. In addition to all that, you have an album coming out. Correct? I do. It just it actually just came out. Uh, one of the things I did uh, along with theater for years and years and years is just uh, a touring musician. So I just released a solo album. Uh, it's called Robert Michael. Time stood still. It is out now on iTunes and uh, it's on Pandora and Spotify and, and Labor of Love. What type of music for, for people not familiar with your... It your... is, I'm going to call it piano rock, sort of okay. acoustic okay. piano, Mark Cohen kind of Oh, cool. Stuff. Very nice. Yeah. That's, that's what I think it is. I could be completely wrong. <laughs> so do you uh, think of yourself as a musician first, actor second, or vice versa, or a combination of the two? I, truly, I'm, I just throw it all under the uh, category of entertainer anymore. Mm. It's just too hard to go. Today I'm going to act. Tomorrow I get to direct. And I'm very, very, very lucky to do all these things. Then I'm going to go be a musician, and then I'm going to be a producer for things like Miss Cass. It's just... No day is the same. No. Yeah. No day is the same, and I love every second of it. It is always different. It is always how many balls can you keep in the air. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. What led you to want to release an album? Um, here's the weird thing. It's been 10 years since my last one. So uh, I toured, this is embarrassing, but it's so cool. Uh, I toured with a hair band uh, right at the end of the 80s and 90s. Hair metal. I toured with them nice. for 18 years. Which hair band? Uh, it was a group called Silence. Okay. You know, not quite on the radar, but an awful, <laughs> awful, awful lot of fun. Um, and then I came back to theater, and then sort of in between, I would play some music and things like that. So uh, it's been 10 years since the last one. And because I could not be busier, I thought, why not shove in a full album? Let's just right. cram that in there. 
So will there be a tour that goes with this I, and I some more travel I or? I don't you know? know. Not yet. I really don't know. Like right now I might just have the album out there, let it be what it is, maybe yeah. go play some shows here, but. That'd be great. I'm, I'm too old to tour. <laughs> I'm done. Yeah, that's, that's You and your wife don't game. have dreams of getting on the tour bus nope. together? Been there, <laughs> done that. It sounds really attractive when you're 23. Yeah. Uh, it's not. It's not. <laughs> And talk a little bit about Miscast. So we talked about that. Uh, Miscast. So Miscast is one of my favorite, favorite uh, things also. So Miscast is uh, a production that we run every year for the Denver Actors Fund as a benefit fundraiser. It is a chance for all of the actors in town who have always wanted to do something that they will never, ever be allowed to do, to come and do. Uh, the more inappropriate, the better. Uh, it gets a little blue. It is, it's just... Uh, it's a really fun night where everybody can come, let their hair down, and not worry about uh, if they're getting a Henry Award for it or how stupid can they be. It is all for fun. It's all for the benefit. It all just to raise money. Um, we we fill. We've been having it at town all the last couple of years. We filled the house. It is. It's just a blast. It's just you know, it's something near and dear to my heart that I just really feel strongly about and put my time and effort into making that as good as it can be. It sounds like a really fun yeah. event. We it's something to see. I, yeah. mean, if, I mean, if you ever want to see somebody do, you know, uh, last year we had uh, some uh, a friend of mine named John Ashton, a uh, longtime theater guy, did Annie as a 70-year-old man smoking, uh, you know, just where's Annie now? Uh, <laughs> Annie took a wrong turn. Right. <laughs> he also he did Memories from Cats, but he played it as though he couldn't remember any of it, so okay. it was... <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, it's 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 ridiculous. A bunch of guys doing a chorus line in ballet, which just none of them should ever dance. Right. It, right. it was. It's just it's just stupid. It's it a lot of fun, good. and we raise money. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for coming on today. Good to have you. Thank you guys Thanks. so much for having me. I really appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. A nap is in your future. <laughs> <laughs> Monday is our dark day, it's my day off. So do I burn it on a nap or do I do something? No. I, I don't know. We appreciate it. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.